remind you, I had Tony Sheldon, uh, one of your colleagues on my program a couple of nights ago. He, he is of the view that Alan Joyce shouldn't be receiving his golden handshake worth a reported, estimated, expected $24 million. Uh, do you think there does need to be change at the director level of Qantas as well? And do you think there is a case for him not to receive uh, his, his golden handshake? Well, it's clear that Qantas has failed many Australians. They failed their customers and they failed their employees. My view is that Richard Goida has made a big contribution to Australia and he's had a distinguished corporate career. Uh, Richard has acknowledged that Qantas hasn't lived up to the expectations of its customers or its employees. Uh, we, now are, we now have a new CEO at Qantas and that is a golden opportunity to turn the page and enable Qantas to lift its standards and start meeting the expectations of Australians. Will it still be having yes painted on the planes, though, for the government's <laughs> referendum? And so it does kind oh. of beg the question... Oh, is that the problem here? Well, no, no, yes, not at yes, all. I'm just is saying that, there are a lot you're, of... Is that why you're upset? There are a lot of sweetheart deals okay. in this relationship, Interesting. as you know. And the Qatar decision was one. The lack of um, aviation being included in the competition review when it was clearly a problem when 95% of the business is conducted by two carriers in any market that's a failure so they should have been ruled in not out okay. and then you've got the yes campaign support so okay, i think we're on just, any we're just any running out of time assessment. and we're going to keep covering this story every night on the show but i want to quickly show you something that tom coddle played on sky news this afternoon have a look at this deputy prime minister richard miles is set to have his security detail increased with a review to be carried out by the Australian Federal Police. He's been facing scrutiny over the cost of chartered defence planes. The opposition has been wanting more detail on the flights to be released to justify the cost of $3.6 million. He has said he stands by every flight as part of his parliamentary business. He's also said he can't release more detail because of security advice that it would lead to people being able to observe a pattern of travel. This story on Richard Marles was broken by news.com.au political editor Samantha Maiden. Now, Miss Maiden approached the Defence Minister on Tuesday morning while he was going for a run around Parliament House. She saw him while driving, pulled over, got out of her car and said hello. He responded he was going for a run. Defence Minister Richard Marles wants permanent security to protect him from the questions of pesky journalists like Samantha Maiden. Bridget McKenzie, what's your response? One of the great privileges and responsibilities of being a Minister of the Crown in this country is subjecting yourself to the scrutiny of Parliament and also the scrutiny of our free press. And I find that um, passing strange but not surprising given this government's absolute uh, desire for secrecy around their decision-making. I think it's an absolute scandal.